Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski of DoStampingWithDawn.com and I'm here with another How'd She Do That video. And today's video actually features the Stamparatus. I'm participating in a blog hop for Stampin' Up! And all the participants, there's 20 of us globally um, around the world, are sharing techniques and ideas that you can do with the new Stamparatus. Um, it's a great positioning tool. So this um, card features the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set and an easy to make template. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need is a template. It's like I said, it's very easy to create and this is what it's going to look like, but we're going to use the Big Shot to do that. Now the dies that I'm going to be using is um, the layering square framelit dies and I only need one square. I'm using the largest square, which is uh, two and seven eighths. Now I've already cut the one square out of a six by six piece of just, I'm using very vanilla um, cardstock, but you could use any. Now, the reason this is 6x6 six six is because that's the biggest square um, piece of cardstock that I can put in the big shot. So I already cut that. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on the diagonal. So this is kind of an eyeball thing. So you do want to make sure that it kind of basically gets in the center. And then again, you want to basically make sure that it's in the center again. And that, and you can do that by kind of eyeballing that each of these um, kind of four squares, if you want to call it, four corners, are of equal uh, size. And that looks pretty good for my eyes here. So we're going to go ahead and run that through. So it may not be exactly perfect, but it's going to be close enough for what we want to do. And that is how you get your template. Now, when I create templates like these, I want to save them and use them over and over and over again. So I write save up in the corner here. And then also I'm going to put an arrow because that's where it's going to be in my Stamparatus. So we're going to use the original template that I created because this could have landed in a, a little bit different spot on my paper than the other one and I have my um, stuff all set up for my original template. But just make your template once and save it and you'll be good to go. Now the stamp set I've chosen for my project is um, Happy Birthday Gorgeous. It's on page 77 of the 2017-18 catalog. It is carrying over into the new catalog come June uh, 1st, so I'm excited about that because I really love this set. But one thing I do want to point out is that currently in the current catalog that ends May 31st, it's in um, as a bundle, meaning you could just purchase the stamp set or you could purchase the coordinating um, thinlet, which is called Happy Birthday. And it's exactly that, Happy Birthday. But when you buy them together as a bundle, it is 10% um, savings. So that particular bundle savings will go away um, as of May 31st. So if this has been on your wish list, be sure to get it sooner than later. Now the reason I picked this is because it had some smaller size flowers in it and I wanted to use this to create a larger um, wreath image. So that's what we're going to use today. Now, I've got this all set up. This was my original template, and as you can see, I have it um, written save on it, and I've put the arrow, and the arrow means that this corner here needs to be in the corner of my Stamparatus. And the reason for that is that if, for whatever reason, somehow my template gets moved or shifted during the process, I know how to put it back in. Now, how do I know that I need to do that? Because I did it once. So, um, lesson learned and tip shared for you. So, there you go. 
Now, the other thing about this, this is a photopolymer stamp set, and it needed just a little bit, here we'll take this out here, it needed a little bit of shimming, so I took a piece of our grid paper and um, folded it in half and have this in, probably like a six by six piece. And that gave me what I needed um, for stamping with the photopolymer, so that works nice. So we're going to go ahead and put our magnets back on. Now if you don't have a Stamparatus yet, these magnets store underneath. There's a little storage area. They're super, super, super strong. So be careful not to get them together. Um, and because one, they're hard to get apart. And two is there is a possibility that they could break as well. So there's some basic um, tips on that. Now I'm using both of the plates. So they come with um, two hinge plates. They pop in and out. I have this one already preset for my flowers, and then I have this one preset for my leaf. All right, so we're going to use um, both of them in this process. So first thing that you need is one of the squares from essentially the same size as the template. And so um, this is basically a 2 and 7 eighths inch square, but just use that same um, uh, layering frames of the squares um, and cut yourself some, some squares from that. So that's what we're going to start with. And then I'm going to show you how, um, where I mounted these. All right. So if I was just going to do a single flower and repeatedly stamp that all the way around, I would make sure it lands in the center. See how there's kind of this area here? It would land in the center. But I really wanted these two to land together, um, but they can't be mounted together. So, uh, because they're too, um, they're, when I mount them side by side, there's too much space. I want them right next to each other. So I ended up doing this. this essentially, this is um, mounted here, and then this one is mounted um, down here. And I'm going to stamp them both at the same time. So we are going to start with, um, let's see, Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to keep this ink pad underneath here just to steady my plate a little bit. stamp at the same time. Okay, and you, oh, I got my magnet too close. That's what's going on there. There we go. But that's the beauty of that is that I love the Stamparatus for that because I can just re-stamp it and um, I could ink it up again if it didn't get inked um, good enough. But for now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this and we're going to keep it in the square position, but we're just going to keep turning it. So I had turned it to my left. You can turn it in either direction, but you want to keep turning it the same each time. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it again. And see how these are now landing right next to each other? That's exactly what I want to have happen. Okay. There we go. And the last one. And you're probably saying, the last one, that doesn't look like a wreath. No, we're not quite there. But I am done with this color. So I'm going to clean up my Stamparatus and the stamps for this color. And I'm going to switch out to Pool Party is my next one. Keep this under here. Now, before I get it inked up, I'm going to switch to the diamond positioned for all of the stamping for the Pool Party. And you're just going to love the way this is going to just fill in. Now there's going to be some overlapping of flowers, and that's just fine. But I really, I kind of, I try to be an efficient stamper. So rather than stamping each of these singly, like I said earlier, you could do that. But it would take twice as long to go around. And um, if I'm going to be doing some stamping, I need to be a little bit more efficient with it. 
And if you're looking for that same kind of efficiency, this is a great way to mount the stamps to create this kind of image. Okay. Oop. And then we have one more. Turn it this way. All right, last one, and then we'll move on to filling in with the leaves. And you know, I just was like giddy. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That cute little wreath. Love it. All right. So, like I said, we're going to move on to the leaves. And actually, I think what I'll do for now is just pull this out. I'm going to turn this so that it can be in the camera better and I don't have to reach across. So for this one, we're going to use a lemon lime twist. Now this one, I do need to go around the entire pattern because I only have one leaf. <laughs> now if I had a couple leaves, um, that would save me a little bit of time, but this is worth it because it's so cute. So I'm going to, so now I'm in diamond, now I'm going to go to square. Okay, so I need to hit each of these um, corners as I move it around. As you can see, I'm moving it to the left. I'm going to just keep doing that. Okay. All right. Okay, just a couple more. Oops. There we go. And one last one. And see how cute this little wreath came together? I'm just loving it. There we go. And voila. Cute. So, what I like about this is that if you wanted to make a few of these, you just then can leave everything where it's at and go ahead and crank out three or four of them. And I know I'm always saying if you're going to make one card, you may as well make four. <laughs> so let me show you the finished one again. Bring it in here. And here we go. And so I finished this off. Um, with some cute little things here. So first off, this layer is three inches of pool party and the whole piece is attached to a layer of um, Whisper White and that was run through the pine wood planks. Love that folder. And then um, the base is a uh, Whisper White thick. And then I finished it off with a few little um, embellishments kind of here. This is the scallop punch. It's the, um, oh, the, the, well, the white is a one inch punch. And then this is the newer scallop punch is the one and three eighths. And then the classic label punch is for um, the label um, here with the happy birthday and um, the label as well. And both those were from, from that same stamp set, happy birthday gorgeous. I finished it off with a little twine. This happens to be the flirty flamingo twine, um, which is retiring. Um, but you can add any color twine there that you want. And the last finishing touch are these pearls. So I did come in with some Stampin' Blends. This is the, the dark, let's see, the dark pool party Stampin' Blends, and this is the light Calypso Coral. It's not an exact match to the Flirty Flamingo, but it's close. And it sure finishes it off nicely, doesn't it? So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you're looking for more inspiration, be sure to visit my blog at DoStampingWithDawn.com. And if you're looking to purchase Stampin' Up! products, you can do that at my Stampin' Up! store, which is DoStampingWithDawn.net. And just be aware, the Stamparatus is not going to be available until June 1st. And um, that's when the new catalog comes out. So um, I know many of you are waiting, and I know some of you already have it. So um, be patient just a little bit longer, and um, it's going to pay off because you're going to love it. All right, thanks.